So I originally had a CRT monitor in my Dance Dance Revolution cabinet, but unfortunately one of my Wong On Midnight Maximum Tune machines, one of the monitors went out and fitting an LCD monitor in that game doesn't really look all that great. It doesn't look appealing. So I decided to keep those CRTs. So I took the CRT monitor out of this one and put it over there. And this one you can see has a Asus, Asus, whatever you want to call it, 27 inch LCD monitor. And you can kind of see that the, the borders don't fill out from top to bottom. And half, like a little bit of the gameplay um, area is cut off. So you can't really see this arrow that right, the one that goes this way. Same goes for this side. You can't see the arrow that goes that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with a Dell 30 inch monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on it. So I have to take off these side pillar things that kind of give us support to the glass bezel. But I think, I think it should be okay as long as no kid leans on the glass, it should be okay. And then we are left with these staples. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. Um, the reason I don't wanna damage these is just in case I do find another CRT monitor and I could just bolt it up um, how it was originally without um, damaging the cabinet too much because um, this is a J Japan cabinet. These are better constructed and I kind of don't want to ruin it too much. So um, went ahead and already took those off and let's go ahead and mount up our monitor. So as you can see, I got the monitor mounted. I have this backboard to kind of give it support. It's just floating there. It's not really bolted down. Same with the monitor. I kind of have these long screws. I know it's kind of ghetto guys, but trust me, once it's already put together, there's no possible way that this is gonna move or go all out of place because I got screws right here and then on the back as well, kind of holding the monitor in place. And the monitor can't come forward as long as I have the glass bezel post posted on the, the monitor itself. So I have the DVI connected, same with the power cord, have both of those connected. And then when I turn on the monitor, the monitor automatically was set to 16 by nine. But luckily about this Dell monitor, if you go into menu and then you scroll down to display settings, you can make the aspect ratio to four three. So we go right here and typically it's originally 16 by nine wide. So if we put it wide, you can see that here let me make the step mania thing go through but you can kind of see how the pictures wide and out so it won't fit so we were gonna so we're gonna have to go through four by three and you can see if the borders on each side go they go black so that it fits with the bezel so let's go ahead and put that on